Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about setting up block assignments um, and editing within the Podgo from the Podgo itself without using the editor. So as you can see here, we are currently in what they call stomp mode. Um, this allows you to turn each individual effect on and off just by pressing its corresponding button. Um, one of the things that's cool about the Podgo is it allows you to quickly edit on the fly and move things around really quickly. So say I don't like the position of where my tube screamer is compared to where my delay is. I would rather have the delay up top, like kind of have like effects and, you know, time based effects here or modulations and have like stomps and amp changes down here. So what you can quickly do is just press and hold the two that you would like to swap. It'll ask you, press OK, and now they've swapped positions. So if you wanted to move the mix and delay, press and hold, click OK, and now they're swapped. Same here. So now what we have is a row of effects and we have any parameter changes or overdrives down on the bottom. Just really a cool, cool thing that makes it nice and easy to really lay out the pedal board any way you want. Again, press the mode switch and this will put you into preset mode and you can recall any of the four presets that you have assigned within that bank. In addition to that, in order to get into what they call snapshot mode, what you can do is you can press up and down at the same time, and that will put you into snapshot mode. So now you can select from any of the four snapshots that you have set up. So let's quickly talk about setting up snapshots. Snapshots are super simple. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into edit mode, press home, and this will put you into edit mode where you can go in and you can edit each individual pedal. Okay. So what we want in snapshot one is just, just a generic rhythm sound. So as you can see here, we have all of the pedals turned off. Other than the overdrive, overdrive into the amp and then... The IR block is also on. So that's perfect for snapshot A. If we wanted to go into snapshot B and change something, we could go into snapshot B, select snapshot B, and then make whatever changes on the edit screen that you want. So I want this to be like a chorus. So we can go in here. We could turn chorus on. Go over and put some reverb on. So that's going to be now snapshot B. So if we go to snapshot A, it turns those pedals off goes to be turns those pedals on C I want to be more of like a lead sound so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here to C. am gonna turn off my modulation I'm gonna turn my delay and my reverb on and I'm gonna kick on the graphic EQ all at the same time so now we have the tube screamer on we have the amp we have delay reverb and Timbin graphic EQ along with the cabinet model, all now on number on C. So if we go to A, we have just the amp with the overdrive. That gives us our chorus and reverb. And that's going to give us our EQ chorus and reverb. So that's like a, setting up a lead patch. For D, if you want to set up a fourth one, what I'd like to do with this one is go reverb, kill that. We'll go reverb. We'll go delay. But one thing I would like to do is I would like way more delay than is currently on the previous patch. We can turn that up, say 50%. And then if you look, it will switch between the amounts of reverb. So I want more reverb and delay in this patch. And then we can additionally add additional, turn some more verb up on that, go 50% a piece. So any changes that you make on the edit screen while you have that snapshot selected will allow you to it autom automatically saves it to that snapshot so now you have four snapshots set up a which is just your rhythm sound 
B, which is your rhythm sound with chorus and some reverb. C, which is a lead sound, which is going to give you your normal sound plus some delay, some reverb, and EQ. And then the last one turns the EQ off, gives you the same sound, but with the EQ off and more and a higher mix level with the delay and reverb. So that's how that works. So let's talk about actually setting up a patch. So in order to set up a brand new patch, we're going to come out of snapshot mode. We're going to go into regular mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and I'm just going to pick a new preset. Okay. So this preset doesn't have anything set up in it yet. So as you can see, if we go into edit mode, you're going to get your two blocks for your foot switch for your expression pedal two blank effects pedals your loop which goes right here you can't really see it on the video unfortunately but there's a little a little loop option right here if we select it then you can see it better you have your amp your cabinet your EQ and two more effects pedals so the way I normally like to set up my, personally, for me, my rigs, is I like to have the order here to be a little bit different. So in order to move the order around and juggle the order of everything that's here, you select what you want with the encoder knob here, select action, and then you can move that to anywhere you want in the signal chain. Okay, so I like to have that after my amp. I like to have my cabinet to be the last thing in the chain. I additionally like the EQ to be right after the amp. And depending on what the preset's going to be, how many pedals I want to be either before or after the amp. So right now this setup will work for what I'm going to try and do. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go in to one of the blank pedals. You're going to click and you're going to choose the type of pedal that you want. So we'll start with, we'll start with a modulation and we'll go in and we will look for, we'll take a phaser, click that. That puts your phaser here and then you have all your parameters assigned to the encoders down here, the knobs slash encoders down here that you can adjust your rate, spread, mix and level scroll over one and now here i like to assign an overdrive so click go into your distortion section choose the overdrive that you want for this one we'll go with i'm going to go back and i'm going to go with the timid Next, you can take and you can move your loop. I like to have the loop right after the amp. I'm not using the, the loop in this setup. I will get into that in another video. Now we can go in and we can select the amp that we want. So I'm going to go in and I am going to go with like an 800-ish. Or jumped plexi. So we'll do like 800. Okay. Scroll over to our EQ, which we're going to leave the way it is for now. I'm just going to change the type of EQ because it's the kind of EQ that I normally use. It will be a 10-band graphic. You can set that. Then you can just turn that block off because I'm not going to use it for right now. The volume pedal is fine the way it is. And then I'm going to go in, set up a modulation. Um, actually, let's not do modulation. Let's go in and let's do a delay. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do like a, we'll do a transistor tape. Tape echoes cool. And then scroll over one more and we're going to set up a reverb. So I'll go in. Nah, glitz is not what I wanted. I will go with the standard plate setting and I like my mix to be about 20% and decay around three and a half to four seconds. <clears throat> so 
Now that you've designed your preset, what do you do to save it? Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do like you do on all the other or HX products. You're gonna press home and action at the same time. And that's gonna put you into save preset mode. Then you can use the encoders to change the name. So for this, we'll just call it, we'll call it my, You can double click on the character encoder to clear, which is really nice. Went the wrong way. <laughs> we'll just call that my lead. And then you can double click, scroll over and double click again, scroll over and double click one more time. So now that preset is called my lead. If you push this button here, it will save it. But what if you want to move it to a different spot inside the HX? What you're going to do is you're going to hit the button. You're going to scroll here on the second encoder down below and you can save it to any other preset that you like on the on the pod go click save and now 1d is my lead so if we go into if we go into stomp box mode now you have all your stomp boxes set up so let's say i want to have my chorus be assigned to this switch here i can go to this switch i can press and hold both buttons it'll ask me if i want to move my chorus select yes it doesn't move it in the single chain it only selects it to moves it to a new new pedal so what if i have something on here that's not assigned say i wanted to assign my volume pedal okay so what i can do is i can press and hold c and it'll ask me if i want to assign the foot switch to that block let's try that again select okay now now that'll be my volume pedal active not active. We can go here. Go to replace. So we'll do that one more time because I forgot to select replace. Replace. So now that's only my foot switch. So that will turn the expression pedal on and off. This will be your EQ. If you don't want your EQ to, to be assigned, just assign something else in its place. Very simple. Again, modes, you have four presets. Presets actually change the patches on the, on the pod go. In stomp mode, this allows you to turn individual effects on and off. And if you double click once again, if you hit the two switches simultaneously, it'll put you in snapshot mode and you can assign snapshots and choose the snapshots that you want. And that's, that's pretty much the long and short of it. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you guys have any other questions, just hit me up in the comments or you can hit me on Facebook or Twitter. Have a good one.